My Hero Academia. This is My Hero Academia Chapter 352 Ultimate Moves. It's been a while for My Hero Academia. It's been three weeks uh, since we've talked about it. Um, last we left off, Todoroki was mixed in He re- in an epic battle with his brother Dobby. Uh, he revealed his ultimate technique, um, which uh, I think it was Phosphos, uh, Flashfire Phosphos. Uh, and we get a little explanation. We open up this chapter with a little explanation as to what exactly Phosphos is. And it's basically Todoroki explains that he he can you he can elevate the flash fire move using both the right side and left side of his quirk at the same time. Like by by using the fire and ice sides of himself simultaneously, he can create a cold fire of sorts. Uh I don't know how scientific how to scientifically explain that i don't know if brian probably has it brian's probably done extensive research i i would hope <laughs> on the subject of phosphos but yeah i don't i have not yeah okay so basically he makes cold fire uh you know to regulate his own temperature as well as being able to withstand dobby's super duper inferno so uh, you know, it's merging fire and ice. Uh, and we cut back to the present where he is basically neutralizing Dobby's fire. Uh, Dobby is like, whoa, he's got himself a body that can withstand scorching heat and, uh, and chill my own inferno. So, you know, Dobby does the only thing he can possibly do and just unleashes like an ultimate like lava burst thing from a from below um the heroes and endeavors agency are just like tanking it so that shoto can continue to power up his phosphos um and um yeah as they're kind of like you know being human meat shields for him uh he reflects that you know he he thanks them for you know their service basically and he said, along this path in along this path of mine, I've reclaimed so much of myself. Uh, before I knew it, it seemed like everyone else had gotten so far ahead, but they were always waiting. They never left anyone behind. They were always there to reassure me. Um, and then uh, that's when Todoroki sh- shoots himself forward, unleashes his special move. He stops Dobby in his tracks, like, I guess like puts his hand directly in his gut and it's said, no, we're going to mangle whether you like it or not. So please just stop already. And he uses his ultimate move. Great glacial, great glacial Aegir. 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 Yeah. And uh, the chapter ends on a really, really beautifully drawn two-page spread of a big fucking ice, <laughs> like ice flash fist, basic flash fire fist. I yeah. think he punches him. Yeah, finally slowing down Dobby's uh, inferno and causing him to freeze over and fall on uh, uh, Sh- uh, Toto um, Shoto's uh, shoulders, and that's where the chapter ends. Uh, so. I guess we could get into thoughts now, Josh. What did you think about this chapter? Um, pretty. It was a pretty. Um, it looked. It looked really fucking dope. You know, with the with the uh, like this this last hit, like even just breaking it down uh, frame by frame, it was incredibly done. Um, a lot of raw like power is exi- I don't know what he was going for specifically, but if it was to show brute raw strength via his his quirk he did it you know he he merged fire and ice into a flame an ice flame i don't i i mean i'm i'm willing to have hold a have a suspension of, of what is that you have? suspension you of disbelief huh suspension of disbelief suspension of yeah suspension of disbelief so it's it's fine i'm not gonna drill that shit even though we could <laughs> but um yeah it looked really dope um i don't i hope i was really hoping the fight wouldn't end in just like one chapter like this uh but it as i look at this i don't know i don't think it's over 
because y'all have to remember that he has like ice resistance technically. Who? Um, what's his name? Dobby. Yeah, Dobby. Not, I mean, his this skin, his skin helps. Um, helps him like resist the cold, but it's really weak to mm. um to fire. So it's like a you know a give and take. Mm-hmm. That's why you know him having the fire doesn't really work that well. But mm-hmm. that but this would be the one time there's actually a use against it since he'd be able to resist this. Maybe it wouldn't, it's not as lethal as it could have been being frozen over. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm. I really hope it's not over with just this one attack. Um, I want to say I told I told all, not you guys not not Chris and Brian but anybody listening. I told you so that the side ass characters wasn't gonna get any kind of shine except well I didn't think they you know what I guess it was impressive that they blocked Dobby's attack kind of. Oh not, wow! Congratulations, think, Josh! You predicted that Burnin wouldn't get like an epic fight. <laughs> Nobody thought that. Nobody thought Burnin was going to get a real fight. He didn't even get any, like, moments where, like, she, they were doing some type of teamwork action, and then shit got out of hand. Then told you, then, then told you had to use a special move. It was just straight up, nah, you got, you're not ready for this fight at all. The best you can do is sacrifice your bodies. For the Todoroki family. Yeah. Also, I want to say this. If you go all the way to the beginning of the chapter, where um, Midori, the second page, where Midori is like freaking out about his new ability. Mm-hmm. I'm, I don't know how you guys feel about this, but it's starting to get really annoying that Horikoshi puts like these little panels when they're talking about, oh, do you remember when you said such and such? Or is this what you were talking about? Like, I'm maybe because I'm overreacting, thinking that this is like supposed to be like a him authenticating where this new ability came from and and it like it'll somehow make up for the lack of build up towards it that this was built up that oh hey i mentioned i was working on something and i pulled it out you know i it just annoys me because it's not adequate but it could just be to guide people so i'm not gonna i'm gonna choose to not be as aggravated by it as i could have been but overall, really enjoyable chapter. Um, One Piece was pretty impactful. This, I would argue, got second place. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm going to lie, the, the rating of this will retroactively drop if next week uh, this fight. <laughs> is- <laughs> that's, I'll tell you. No. that's fair. Um, Brian, what did you think about this chapter? I thought this was an interesting chapter. Um, I'm still of the belief that twice his quirk is still being activated to some extent. I just don't know in what way. Um, they kind of alluded to it earlier. Um, so I wonder if that's going to pay off anytime soon. Um, I do agree. I don't think this is it for Dobby just because, you know, I feel like there's still just a little bit more to resolve. Um, I feel like it would be kind of weird for Endeavor not to be a part of this in some way. So um, I'm all for the Dobby clone uh, theory here. Yeah. Um, But I think this was an interesting little bout here, you know, showed Todoroki's growth as a person on top of his uh, growth with his own quirk. You know, he's kind of finding, like, a balance between, like, all within all the fucking chaos of his life. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, before, it, it was it was always too much of one thing. Too much of, like, hatred for his father. Too much, you know, coldness. You know, it, it, he's finally finding, like, a little bit of inner peace, even when all this shit's going to hell. So, I really like this chapter. Uh, the Josh. art was amazing too. Josh, what did you say? I said he's learned how to cope. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's developed healthy coping mechanisms and a positive outlet. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um Yeah, I mean for for what this chapter was, uh I thought it was I thought it was fine. It was serviceable. Um 
again, the the art is continuously the saving grace of this series right now. Um, I, I feel like, you know, this is all stuff that Horikoshi wanted to do, but for whatever reason, like it's, it's going a lot faster now, um, whether it's his burnout or, you know, the reception of the series, you know, the little rumors that like the, uh, his audience is not so stoked on the series as like, you know, he would hope, um, whatever it is, uh, I feel like there's definitely like an element of, you know, fast forwarding it as well. Um, but I guess like where this is different from uh, like One Piece is that like it's just re- it, this is such like a, a very it was supposed to be such, it was like such a core of this series like the themes of like fatherhood and family and stuff and you know I believe that like all this Phospho stuff is something that he really wanted to expand on and you know we we would probably get to see developed at some point and there's certain like pages that you can tell that a manga what a mangaka was waiting like his whole career to draw them you know like mm-hmm. little staples where they were like okay i can't wait to draw this panel this moment and that moment where you know the attack landed and you know there that very last panel that two page spread i know that that was like this is what he wanted to end this arc on uh, or their story on is this attack the, the the image of these two brothers kind of like ending up in each other's arms um in this way uh whether this battle is over i'm not sure um i'd be shocked if it's a dobby clone because dobby's clones are i would have probably dissipated at this point <laughs> uh so i'd be shocked if dobby is particularly a uh, a clone um but yeah, I, I mean, I wouldn't take that up. Say that again. That that really would be crazy. I mean, the the Dobby theory, just that. I mean, the fact that his clones, his clones, which was a byproduct of Toga's quirk, so it would be her quirk using creating, cre- you know, using his quirk to create a clone of somebody else who was using that quirk. That's like a three three levels of 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 separation for that. You know, yeah. like. That's kind of wild. And he's still that strong. So does that mean the regular Dobby would be way stronger? Who's going to stop him? Is Miriam going to fight everyone on no. his own? No, I would say that Dobby's probably real. Uh, but maybe, you know, when, when we get to Toga's fight, we'll see more of the clone stuff happening in action. But I, I'd be so shocked if Dobby turns out to be a clone. Um and you know all this tension build up for Dobby to be a clone. This feels like too real of a, of a fight for it to be like him to just melt. I don't know if I would uh, I would love that, but yeah, I mean I don't know. It was what it was. The art is fantastic as per usual. Uh, it it is what it is. <laughs> and that's all, uh, what I could say about my arrow. Uh, I am enjoying it for what it is. I just wished it was uh, able to. I wish Orokoshi was like. And I guess I'm making an assumption here, but I wish he felt like secure to write the story he wanted to write. Because uh, it does feel off that Endeavor's not here with them. Uh, I think that's the biggest downfall of this fight is that I feel like Endeavor should be here. Uh, mostly because like this was a family affair. This was about this is a lot of about Endeavor's development as a character, as a father figure in the series. Um, so I don't know. But you know, it may not be over yet. We'll see we'll see how it plays out. 